Since 2005, it's been fairly widely publicized that we've been finding soft tissue in dinosaur bones. But not just dinosaur bones, many other fossils. We've also discovered undecayed DNA, uh, measurable amounts of carbon-14 well above the detection limit, uh, and, and soft tissue, soft tissue that if you stretch it, it snaps right back. Now, one of the most famous was found inside of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, not just a little one like this, uh, but some of these creatures would have stood 10 foot above my head. And in the large bones, they found these exact things, tissue that was stretchy, undecayed blood vessels, undecayed blood cells. So what has the scientific community done to try to explain, well, how can that still be there? Well, they have come up with an explanation. And it's even showed up in places as, as strange as science fiction movies. Uh, when Jurassic World came out in 2015, 10 years after the initial find, the two young boys that are heroes in the movie, the younger one looks at the older one and says, we now know how tissue can be preserved so long inside of the amber and fossils. You see, iron attaches itself to the end of these molecules and it preserves them. So now this, we know this tissue will last as long as we need it to last. Well, and that's being reported to students. You see, the researcher who found the first tissue, Mary Schweitzer, she did an experiment where she took uh, chicken bones, she took the blood out of them, added an anticoagulant to keep the blood from clotting, spun down the clotting factors in a centrifuge, separated just the blood cells that had iron in them, where the iron had not been locked up by natural processes, and then left a beaker with this special formulation of specially treated blood and then a beaker with unspecially treated bones on a bench for a year to see in which beaker did the tissue last longer. Well, it turned out where you didn't lock up the iron, you allowed it to be freely floating and reactive so it could react with the biological tissues, the iron did preserve the tissues as much as 10 times longer. Well, that means instead of all of these organic molecules disappearing within a matter of tens of thousands of years, they might have lasted hundreds of thousands of years if all this were true. But you still need to explain how do you get them to last for millions of years. And furthermore, you don't find anticoagulants in nature. You don't find centrifuges in nature. You don't find laboratory conditions on a laboratory bench for a bone buried underneath the ground with water and hot and cold and all sorts of bacteria leaching in and around it. All of those things would rapidly destroy the biological tissues inside of anything buried in the ground. There is nothing that comes close to explaining how could this tissue have lasted for millions of years. It's all fantasy and partial, deceptive, misinformation that's been proposed to try to pretend iron coming out of blood could have preserved things longer when all of the reasons that show this couldn't have happened are simply ignored. See, this isn't science. This is storytelling that selectively grabs little bits of information to try to hang on to an impossible belief. The reality remains soft tissue is being found in fossils because those fossils aren't millions of years old, they were formed during Noah's flood only thousands of years ago. So the observations fit the Bible very, very well. We can trust God's word to mean what it says about the past, the creation of life and the worldwide flood that created the rock layers of this earth.